वायुसेना इस समारोह को नई ऊंचाइयों पर ले जाती हुई कुछ ही देर में यहाँ शानदार फ्लाई पास्ट एंड टूडे वी आर शोइंग यू एक्चुअली एरियल शॉट्स टेकन स्पेशली टू एक्चुअली मेक दिस होल फ्लाई पास बिकम वेरी रियल फॉर यू एंड दीज आर शॉट्स टेकन फ्रॉम प्रचंड द फर्स्ट फॉर्मेशन विच इज इन अ शॉर्ट वाइल फ्रॉम नाउ विल गो पास द सल्यूटिंग बेस and these shots have been specially procured and are presented here so that not only do you get a real or if you want to say surreal experience of the complete fly past and to herald the beginning of the second innings the prachand formation led by our very own indigenously manufactured light combat helicopter flanked by the apache and indigenous advanced light helicopter mark 4 in aero formation led by group captain deepak vishnoi the apaches are from 125 helicopter squadron gladiators being captained by group captain anand kumar yadav and wing commander hashir habib vayu sena medal with squadron leader ragi ramachandran as the co-pilot and following them were wing commander rupendra kumar mishra and wing commander sushil khajuria in the indigenously designed and developed helicopters of the 116 helicopter unit known as the tank busters or प्रचंड फॉर्मेशन के बाद अगली फॉर्मेशन होगी तंगेल ये दृश्य कैसा दिखता है ये फॉर्मेशन आपके लिए ख़ास तौर पर इनको रिकॉर्ड किया गया और इस समय आप इन्हें देख सकते हैं और कुछ ही देर में यहाँ पर हेरिटेज फ्लाइट का डकोटा विमान और दो डॉनियर विमानों के साथ विक फॉर्मेशन में यहाँ से गुजरेंगे उन्नीस के भारत पाक युद्ध में वायुसेना की ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्लीट की शानदार भूमिका को तंगेल एयर ड्रॉप से याद करते हुए इस फॉर्मेशन का नाम रखा गया है विंग कमांडर ए के सिंह और विंग कमांडर एच डी गाला डकोटा विमान को उड़ा रहे हैं तंगेल टू जो डॉनर विमान है उसकी कमान विंग कमांडर शुभम मिश्रा के हाथों में उनके साथ फ्लाइट लेफ्टिनेंट साई श्रद्धा और जो दूसरा डॉनर विमान होगा उसमें स्क्वाड लीडर निकिता मल्होत्रा और उनके को पायलट फ्लाइट लेफ्टिनेंट एन गुरुनाथन तंगेल फॉर्मेशन में निगाहें आकाश की ओर राष्ट्रपति भवन की तरफ वहां आकाश में एक एक करके ये हवाई जहाज कर्तव्य पथ की ओर बढ़ते हुए एंड इन दिस्टी स्काई लाइन वी कैन सी द टेंगेल फॉर्मेशन कैमराज आर ट्राइंग द बेस्ट टू कैच परफेक्ट शॉर्ट्स फॉर यू बींग लेट बाय an indian air force dakota of heritage flight with two dronies of 41 squadron in wing formation going past the saluting base and now after tangail we look forward to the next formation which is the arjun formation named after marshal of the air force arjun singh and these are shots from the formation taken and these are not live shots we'd like to remind you this formation will be led by the C295 the latest tactical transport aircraft of the indian air force from 11 squadron being captained by group captain prashant singh negi and wing commander vikram seth with two C130J tactical transport aircraft in wing formation being flown by group captain ankit raj singh and squadron leader sparsh helawat to the right and wing commander manish vyas and squadron leader kv prasad to the left all from 77 squadron known as the veiled vipers kartavya path ke upar arjun formation air force ke marshal arjun singh ke naam par ye formation kartavya path par dhoop to nikal aayi hai lekin abhi aakash mein dhund baaki hai isliye dhoondna padta hai in formations ko लेकिन उत्सुकता बरकरार और ये अगली फॉर्मेशन नेत्र फॉर्मेशन ये उसके दृश्य जो पहले रिकॉर्ड किए गए हैं और इस समय हम इन्हें देख सकते हैं आकाश में नेत्र आकाश में आंखें चाहिए टोह के लिए एम्ब्रे विमान इस फॉर्मेशन की अगुवाई करेगा स्वदेशी निगरानी सिस्टम से लैस ये एयरबॉर्न अर्ली वार्निंग एंड कंट्रोल है ये शत्रु के विमान को बहुत दूर से पहचान कर अपने लड़ाकू विमानों को उन्हें नष्ट करने का निर्देश दे सकता है इस विमान के दोनों तरफ मल्टीरोल सुकोय थर्टी एम के आई फाइटर विमान 
going past the saluting base, the Netra formation. Eyes in the skies. Ambrayer ki kaman, group captain S. Gunashekaran. Sukhoi 30 mein, group captain Uttar Kumar or wing commander Manish Jakhar. Big formation mein uran bharkte huye, karta vipat ke upar se guzre. You know, viewers, the special shots that we are bringing for you, the pre-recorded ones, are the closest that uh, most of us can get an experience of actually being in one of these aircraft and flying them. Here, these are shots of the Varuna formation. Kartavya Path will now resonate with excitement. Varuna is the god of sea and rain, the deity of the coastal landscape. And according to an Indian Navy, pilot it's a very very special plane for them so an indian navy p8i maritime vehicle leading this formation with two su-30s of the indian air force in vic formation the p8i being flown by commander ruchit gore along with group captain manoj yadav and wing commander parvinder singh chahal as varuna two and three flying the sukhois of 31 squadron popularly known as the lions the lions roaring across Kartavyapath today. Varun formation ke baad, agli formation hai Bheem. Aur ye Bheem formation ke drishe, joh humne record kiye hain, ye cockpit se kis tarah dikta hai, Akash aur ye formation. शक्ति का प्रतीक भीम और इस फॉर्मेशन के अगुवाई भारी और शक्तिशाली ट्रांसपोर्ट विमान C-17 कर रहा है वायुसेना के C-17 विमान की कमान ग्रुप कैप्टन समीप निजावन के पास है और इसके साथ दो सुखोए 30 विमान स्कॉट लीडर अमित कुमार यादव और विंग कमांडर अक्षय अरुण महाले की कमान में कुछ ही देर में यहां कर्तव्य पथ के ऊपर से गुजरेंगे This is the beam formation, which our cameras are now going to catch for you. So as we shared earlier, it's a cloudy sky and uh, the pre-recorded visuals are definitely very clear, giving you clarity. But today, though we all did pray to the sun gods, but uh, yes, we got some, but we didn't get some. Now we have the Amrit formation, and these are views that you can see of that, all Jaguars. Formation derives its name from Amrit Kal, India's vision for 2047. By six Jaguar aircraft led by Group Captain Nagendra Vishek, along with his wingmen, Wing Commander Manorat Sabarwal, Wing Commander Vishwanathan Naga, Wing Commander Jay Krishnan, Squadron Leader Akash Karpe, and Wing Commander Chakrapani Kajla, all from the 14th and 5 squadrons, popularly known as the Bulls and the Tuskers, respectively. Lagbhag Sale Satso kilometer Prati Ghanti ki Raftar or Unchai Tinso meter ki. आकाश में ओझल हो गए छह जगर विमान ग्रुप कैप्टन नागेंद्र अभिषेक की कमान में अगली फॉर्मेशन वज्रांग भारतीय वायुसेना के छह रफेल लड़ाकू विमान मारुत फॉर्मेशन में यह दृश्य कॉकपिट से फॉर्मेशन की कमान संभाली है ग्रुप कैप्टन अभिषेक त्रिपाठी ने उनके साथ विंग कमांडर चैतन सूर्यवंशी स्कॉट लीडर यश सावलकर विंग कमांडर अमित वर्मा स्कॉट लीडर सुशील शिंदे और स्कॉट लीडर विजय चांद गुड़े ऑल रफाइल एयरक्राफ्ट द वज्रांग फॉर्मेशन मीनिंग डायमंड बॉडीड showcasing six Rafale fighter aircraft of the Indian Air Force, led by Group Captain Abhishek Tripathi, with his wingmen, Wing Commander Chaitanya Suryavanshi, Squadron Leader Yash Savalkar, Wing Commander Amit Varma, Squadron Leader Sushil Sinde, and Squadron Leader Vijay Changure, all from 101 Squadron, known as the Falcons. At a speed of 900 kilometers an hour, Trishul formation, 
कर्तव्य पथ के सामने जो नहर है उसके ऊपर से कुछ ही देर में तीन सुखोए थर्टी एम लड़ाकू जहाज त्रिशूल फॉर्मेशन में गुजरेंगे 900 किलोमीटर प्रति घंटे की रफ्तार बुराई का नाश करने के लिए त्रिशूल फॉर्मेशन की अगुवाई कर रहे हैं ग्रुप कैप्टन सचिन अरोड़ा और उनके साथ ग्रुप कैप्टन ओमार ब्राउन और विंग कमांडर नवजोत सिंह As these Su-30s go past the saluting base, flying at these heights and speeds, the pilots are rigorously trained to handle extreme physical and mental pressure. And the focus and expertise with which they fly, maneuver, change direction and speeds at these heights requires unparalleled courage, determination, and passion for flying. Visuals now of the Vijay formation to mark the conclusion of the Grand Republic Day celebration. We will soon see an Indian Air Force Rafale displaying the Vijay maneuver. We will see the Rafale flying at a speed of 900 kilometers per hour, all set to touch the sky with glory as it executes the victory roll maneuver over Kartavya Path, also called Vertical Charlie. It's a very spectacular maneuver in the vertical Charlie, an acrobatic maneuver in which the aircraft pulls up vertically and carries out rolls at that altitude before stabilizing at a higher altitude. Aircraft was flown by group captain Arun Kumar and co-piloted by squadron leader Shivangi Singh, both from 17 squadron known as the Golden Arrows. So all heads turning skywards and the gaze searching for that glimmer of silver. We are once again filled with wonder and respect for the brilliance of this display by the Indian Air Force. Detachment comprising six modern ve specialist vehicles that include quick reaction force vehicles, heavy and medium, a light specialist vehicle, vehicle mounted infantry mortar system, all terrain vehicle and a specialist mobility vehicle. These are new generation vehicles under the Atma Nirbhar initiative of the government. These vehicles can be used in the desert and mountainous regions and snowy areas to transport troops. And the specialty of these vehicles is their suspension, which is really flexible, giving it excellent maneuverability. The detachment led by Major Tufan Singh Chauhan of Five Rajput, Lieutenant Colonel Panmai Kabipun, and Captain Armandeep Singh Ojla. Specialized vehicles of the Indian Army that provide them support on the ground. The crowds here all agog with excitement because they are seeing these vehicles for their first time. A perfect opportunity for the Indian Army to share glimpses of the equipment that they have at their disposal. The all terrain vehicles. We have the Pinaka of the Regiment of Artillery, led by Lieutenant Priyanka Sevda. The Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher system is an indigenously designed, developed and manufactured medium-range, all-weather, free-flight artillery rocket system. Fully automated, this offensive weapon system, with each launcher boasting of 12 rockets, Developed by the DRDO, Pinaka is a vital component of the offensive operations of the artillery. Sarvatra Izzat O Iqbal, their motto, 